Okay guys, so today in this tutorial on CypherTech we're going to be showing you how to install Kali Linux 2017.3 and guest editions within VirtualBox. Okay, so there are a couple of prerequisites before we can start. You go over to virtualbox.org on here, just type that in and then you need to be downloading the latest version of VirtualBox. So click on downloads here or just click on this big button here. That will take us to the download page and there's two uh, binaries we need to download from here VirtualBox 5.2.2 platform packages so click Windows Hosts if you're on Windows save that file and the second one is the VirtualBox extension pack and you just download that by clicking all supported platforms here save that file the second thing we will require is the Kali Linux ISO file so head over to Kali.org click on downloads and download Kali Linux or just downloads itself this will take you to the images page the version we want is the 64-bit version of Kali and the torrent download is recommended due to the uh, file size it normally downloads uh, pretty fast on torrents there's always someone downloading it so once you've got them install VirtualBox and the extension pack then launch VirtualBox I've already got an instance of Kali here, just ignore that. We're creating a new machine, click new, enter a name for the machine, so I'm just going to enter Kali 2017.3. We change the type to Linux and the version is Debian 64-bit. So once you've got them selected, click on next. We can increase the amount of RAM available to the virtual machine. I'm just going to double that to 2048. And we create a virtual hard disk now. Leave that as a default VDI. Click next. Again, leave this as a default dynamically allocated. Click next. And here we are creating the size of the virtual machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it 30 gigs. Once that's in, click Create, and it will be added to your VirtualBox Manager. And there it is. So right-click the new virtual machine and click Settings. And we're going to go to General first. Go to the Advanced tab. And change Shared Clipboard and Drag and Drop to Bidirectional. And then head over to System. We can untick Floppy from Boot Order. And then from the processor tab, I'm going to increase it to two CPUs. And on the acceleration tab, finally, just make sure all these options are ticked. Head over to network. Make sure I enable network adapter set and that you're using NAT for now. Just click OK and start the virtual machine at which point you'll be prompted to select the Kali Linux ISO file so browse to where you've saved that and make sure you've got the Kali Linux 2017.3 ISO selected OK that and then just press start to start your virtual machine so the next step now is installing uh, Kali itself so we want to head down to install here from the boot menu and we set up the language settings first select whatever language you want from here I'm just going to sort my mouse integration out here first okay Select your keyboard layout. And now we will be prompted for, I think it's a host name next.
Okay, so we're just entering a host name now. I'm going to go ahead and enter Kelly, Kelly actually, Kelly 2017.3. <clears throat> Click continue. And we set a root password here, so create something that's going to be secure. If anyone else has got access to your machine, make sure it is a secure password. This one, no one else has got access to my machine, so I'm just going to enter a simple password here for now. Click continue. It will set up all the time zone settings. And now for this option to partition the disk, we want guided use entire disk. Select the default for this screen, SCSI, if you've got that. And we want to select the default again, all files in one partition. And then once that's selected, click uh, Finish Partitioning and Write Changes to Disk. And then just tab over to the Yes here to write the changes to the disk and commit them. So at this point, the system will install. So I'm just going to pause the video. This can take a little while to do. I will see you in a short while. Okay, we're back. Uh, if you get this message coming up saying uh, use a network mirror, you want to select no. It will carry on doing its thing here. Okay, and we're in a virtual machine, so we're just going to say yes to install the Grub bootloader here. And then for this option, we want to go down to the Dev SDA here. Just go down to that, select it, click continue. So the installation will continue at this point. Once it's done, it will reboot the system. So we click continue here. The system will finish the installation now and uh, reboot. Okay, so it will now load the virtual machine we've just created. Log in with the username and password you set in during the installation process. Um, we're just going to make a couple of changes here to the Kali repository sources. So open up a terminal. Uh, from the terminal we want to do cd slash etsy slash apt. Hit enter. And now to edit the sources file. Let's just have a quick look here. So the file we want to edit is called sources.list. So nano sources dot list. What's going on there? Nano sources dot list. That will open the uh, text editor up. Press return. Okay, so we just need to add a couple of uh, sources here to the current Kali repositories. So just enter them as I'm doing on the screen right now. Okay, once you've got them entered, just go ahead and click on Control and O to write out the changes and save the file. So Control O, then press Enter to save and Control X to exit then. And we're going to do a CD back to the root directory now. So just enter CD from this terminal. Clear the screen. I'm just going to make a couple of changes to our network manager here as well. Uh, so we go into cd uh, slash etsy slash network manager directory. Press enter. And again, with the file we're going to edit uh, is called networkmanager.conf, C-O-N-F. So we just go ahead and nano again, nano networkmanager.conf, press enter. And I'm just going to change managed here to true. Control O to write the changes, press enter, then control X to exit again. 
we'll just clear the terminal again and now what we're going to do is we're just going to upgrade um, the packages to the latest versions I always like to do this after an install there normally are some changes to the distribution so the command we type in to do this is apt dash get update space and and space apps dash get upgrade just hit enter on that and that will update all the packages to the latest versions from the sources that we set in the sources.list file previously okay i'm just going to pause the video here because this can take uh, a little while to do okay so the process is now finished here updating all the packages uh, what we're going to do now is just uh, look for the latest uh, Linux headers and just install them also. Let's clear the screen here. Just type here apt cache space search space header. And then you want to type a, a pipe, which is uh, shift and the button next to Z on your keyboard, if you've got that. grep-i and then Linux. Just press enter again on here, so make it a bit bigger so we can get the full path on here. And enter. Okay. Okay, and the headers that we are looking for are the Linux headers AMD64 package. So just scroll up on the screen slightly here, and yep, yeah, there it is. That's the one we're looking for. Linux headers 4.1.3. Uh, this is the latest version at the time of recording the video. If yours is different at that time, just use whatever it is. Just make sure it is all header files for Linux 4. Point whatever, and it's the AMD64 package. So just select that on the screen and copy it. We're going to use that here in the command. And then to install them headers, we're just going to run the command apt get space install space and then just paste in that string that you've just copied and press enter on that that will now install the Linux headers just press yes to continue type Y and then enter let it do its thing and then we'll continue with the video Okay, so the Linux headers are all installed and up to date. We're just going to do a reboot of the virtual machine now. So just type reboot, press enter, and let the system reboot. And once it reboots, we're going to set up our guest additions for VirtualBox. Okay, so we're logged into the machine here. Then we're going to go to the top here and you want to select uh, devices and then insert guest editions CD image. Just select that, you'll see it get added to your desktop in your virtual machine. Okay, there it is. If you select run on this, it will fail, but that's fine. We're going to manually uh, install this at the next step. So just go ahead and click run. And there it is, there's a problem running this software. So to solve that, we're gonna open up a terminal. We're going to change directory to the CD-ROM drive within the virtual machine. So CD slash media slash CD-ROM zero. Press enter. And then if we do a quick ls to list the files inside there, the one we're interested in is vboxlinuxeditions.run. And we're just going to copy that file to the desktop. So cp vboxlinuxeditions.run. 
and the destination where we want to copy that to is slash root slash desktop. So just type that in, press enter. You'll see a new file be created on your desktop at this point once that command is executed. And there it is. And what we need to do now is run that file to complete the installation. So we are now going to change directory uh, back to the desktop. Actually, if we just do a CD back to root, CD root, uh, CD desktop, sorry. We'll list the files in there to make sure it is there. There it is. And to execute the script or the program, we just need to do dot slash forward slash Linux VBox Linux editions dot run. Press enter. It will proceed to install the VirtualBox guest editions. Okay, so once that's all complete, uh, we just need to do a final reboot of the virtual machine. Just type in reboot, enter. The VirtualBox uh, machine will now restart and everything should be ready to go. And we log in. Okay, and we just resize the virtual machine here and the desktop should snap to full display with there. And that's that's it. That's the Kali Linux 2017.3 installed in VirtualBox with guest editions. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. There's a lot more coming up. I'll see you soon.